Good morning, everybody. It is January 9th, I think, and it's Sunday morning, and I'm getting ready for church. Okay, so first things first, I already washed my face and brushed my teeth. It's usually like the first thing I do when I wake up for work in a week. So I am on day like five hair. And I really don't want to wash my hair today, so we're going to just figure out what I can do. But right now, I'm going to do my makeup. Okay, so the first thing I start with, well, I guess I should really be starting with the primer. But I start with this little primer. Um, Actually, someone at work gave me this because I was talking to her, telling her I have such dry skin. And she was telling me she has such oily skin. And the next day she came and brought me this little product because she got it in like a Ipsy box, basically. Sorry for that snorting, that's my dog. And basically she said it made her skin more oily, but she thought it'd be great for me to use because I was really dry skin. So that was so, so sweet of her. I love when things like that happen because it's like, oh, like, you're actually fully engaging in our conversation and you're like actually thinking about me like and remembering things that i say like i don't know it just makes me feel valued as a um as a person okay so what next i use glossier's like i don't even know what this is called perfecting skin tint and so i put that under my eyes so i just Today, have them bags. Put a little here. No, I can Next, I go with the Glossier. I don't know what it's called either. Oh, Solar Paint. And so I just take this. It might be a little too dark right now because I'm really pale. I go here. I go here. Here, up here, underneath. Oh, and I put a little on my nose. I try to contour on my nose, but I'm very good at it. Okay, so then I take my beauty blender and I blend that out. Okay, so I have all that blend out. Sorry that my lighting is like atrocious. Um, I'll work on that. I just blend this out with the back of my booty, beauty, my booty blender, my beauty blender, the back of it, because I feel like there's not any product on the back except for the product. Do y'all do that too? Like you have certain sections of your beauty blender for certain products, or am I just like, oh, cry, cry? Because sometimes I feel like I'm like I care way too much about things like that. <laughs> Okay, so I don't do a lot of paint, but just a little subtleness. Okay, so the next thing I use is the Glossier Halo Scope, and this is just like a, um, what's it called, a highlighter? There we go. See, it's just like this. It's really light. I don't know. I don't love liquid products because I feel like my skin's so dry and it helps with that. So I just put like the high points of my face, so like cheekbones, brow bones, nose, I put it on my lip right there and a little bit on my chin. Um, then I blend them out too.
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I like can't move anywhere because my dog's on the ground right here, but the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I use a spoolie and then brow jelly by Oh Hi, this brand. I use, oh, I really don't know what color this is. I got it actually from Urban Outfitters and like the little, like, you know, when you stand in line at Urban and, um, they have all those like little goodies you can pick from. Yeah, that's where I got this. And I got it like literally over a year ago and I still use it every day. And I'm obsessed. I also like the Glossier brow. <laughs> brow gel, but I think I got that color too dark. And then this one actually is like the perfect shade for my brows. So I still use this one. There we go. Just brush them out. Okay, they don't look great, but it works. I take this brush and I go in with this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends for like a bronzer. I usually use like the Hula Beauty Hula Bronzer, but I ran out and I like refuse to buy this small palette because I feel like I'm like wasting my money because the like jumbo palette is like an extra five dollars with so much more product so and they're sold out of the jumbo palette like everywhere so i am just been using this one and i actually like it enough possibly but i don't know and then next i go in with it cosmetics blush um let's see what color sweet cheeks warm peachy pink and then i just touch that up use this one the lash techniques so yeah that's my makeup for church next step is putting on my outfit okay step two is picking up my outfit as you can see my dogs love to join me in the room but i got these shoes from vintage Savannah, and i'm obsessed with them i haven't worn them yet so i really want to wear them today at church so i just have to build an outfit around them but i'm picking these with like some jeans and maybe a cute top. I'm pretty sure it's freezing though. But I'll get back to you. Okay, so I think this is what we're doing for. I got this like brown tank top, this jacket with these jeans, and then maybe these sneakers. I don't know how I feel about this jacket, but I think once I put my shoes on, I think maybe when I put my shoes on, I'll feel better about this fit. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see, but here's the fit. Shoes, vintage Havana, jeans, Abercrombie, tank top, TJ Maxx. I have to tuck it in. And then jacket, I think lizard thicket. Okay, now for my hair. I really think I'm just gonna put it up in the ponytail because I mean, this is day six hair and I have like a rule that if hair is like more than two days old, I can't put heat on it because it's like, okay, you're gonna style it for what because you're about to wash it so i think we're just gonna go for a fun ponytail a low pony not like my i hate my hair being in my face it's like my biggest pet peeve so i think we're just gonna throw a hair at a pony and call it a day I just like to pull hairs like from the top of my pony to make it look a little bit more like Volumized, have more volume. Okay, and then I like to pull front pieces out. Mm. Yeah, don't love it, but it works. Okay, and for jewelry, I'm just gonna add these gold hoops. They're just pretty simple. And I'm gonna keep my necklace and everything else on regular. Next thing I do is take my dogs out to go to the bathroom before I leave for church and we're actually potty training our dogs right now. As you can see, we have Keeper and Kirby. But we're potty training them right now. So we have to crate them when we leave, which I was always against doing. But, you know, when your dogs are peeing all over your house every time you leave the house, come on. That's so why we started creating them, which eventually we plan to not create them anymore. But 
for the meantime while they're still like going to the bathroom in the house okay and then right after i take the dogs out i give them a treat this is like something i do every day and literally they have learned now that if we go outside as soon as they come in like look at them right now they're literally standing by the pantry because they know they're going to get a treat. Right, ready? Keep it first. Good boy. All right, Kirby, sit. Good boy. That's a sweet boy. So I still have about 10 minutes before I need to leave the church. Um, so I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm gonna bring you guys through that. Okay, so first things first, I get out my favorite cup. It's like the S and M brand from Target, and so I use these at work every day. So I get out the cup and then shawty, and I fill it up with ice. Fill it with ice, and then I get the Starbucks vanilla latte iced coffee, and I just pour this over ice, and that's all there is to it. Literally, so easy. This is, and I love iced coffee, so literally, this is what I do for work. Every single day. Literally every day. Good, it's just hard to get your show down after. It's amazing. So that's pretty much it for my morning routine before church on a Sunday. Um, or just like my morning routine in general on a Sunday. Um, I go to Free Chapel Church in Gainesville and I absolutely love it. I'm actually meeting one of my friends from college and work we teach together at the same school same grade and i'm meeting her at church and then we're sitting together because um no one was going with me this morning which is kind of upsetting but it's okay but yep so that is my morning routine on a sunday or i guess you could call this to get ready with me for church i don't know but that's pretty much it. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And tell me what you want to see next for my YouTube series of life. <laughs> Let it grow now. Okay, bye. Have a blessed Sunday.